Lord of the Flies is a good book. I read it in ninth or tenth grade. Maybe earlier. You stop it. What good are you doing talking like that? Piggy and the Kong Show. I'm pretty sure it was Miss Tysowski. She was this wild teacher that would make all these bizarre comments. I'm a sex symbol. Then we'd all laugh and roll around the aisles. <laughs> oh, Miss <Ms>. Tysowski. <laughs> After that, she'd give us some real information about Edgar Allan Poe. Poe believed art should create an experience for the reader with language that appeals to the senses, making us feel like we're in the story. How does Lord of the Flies do that? It was a neat trick to keep us engaged. It's real, someone said. And she was also really funny. Yeah, I bet some people be as crazy as Piggy in here, Henry said. Oh, I can't imagine who. Not me, Henry shouted back. I'm not looking at you, Miss T said, and looked straight at Henry with her arms crossed. I learned a lot about comedy from her. Towards the end of the school year, she'd say things like, Pirus is such a sex symbol. Sort of paying it forward. It might seem strange for a teacher to say that in this day and age, uh, but that was even more effective than saying she was because everyone would just laugh even louder. <laughs> oh, Miss T! Oh, Miss T, she crazy, man. Then to me, you hear about what she say to you? <laughs> Miss T loves you, Pirus. Mostly everyone would laugh and roll in the aisles. I'd get real embarrassed and blush. Then I got used to it. After a while, she'd say jokes and then I'd make jokes back. Things like, yeah, it's true, Miss T. Or, well, Miss T knows a few things. <laughs> Whatever would get the biggest laugh. Now I realize I was probably targeted for a lot of reasons. I was a bit shy. It gave me confidence. But I was also a performer. I could take the joke and dish it back. I guess I became a willing accomplice in getting people to pay attention. But the single clearest memory I have of Miss Tysowski was when she came to school looking a mess one day. I started in on some jokes, and she didn't bite. Then she told us all about how her car broke down. No one pulled over for an hour. Then this big guy comes, stops, helps me out, and starts to leave. I go to my wallet to pay him, or, or see how I can thank him, and he's like, no, just do the same for someone else when you're in the same position. It's a simple story. I don't know if it was true, but it stuck with me. Now. After last night's debate, and with a president like Trump, I wonder how she'd handle teaching Lord of the Flies. The beauty of a work of art is more important than its meaning, have, she no, would tell Susan, us. I, this is important. Susan, I, I, and I, I want to add, the, if, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have to I'm speaking. In. Would she talk about the bug that landed on Mike Pence's head before we read about Piggy? That's what Poe was doing with arabesque language and shifting point of view. I wonder what my classmates from high school would have said as the debate continues, and I post a video of Pan and I laughing about the fly and Pence's dragon eye. It's just, there's a fly on his head, and his eye is a red dragon head. And then one by one, just like that, all the people from my high school start commenting on my Facebook posting. Yes! I thought it was just me! Natasha says, he has a fly <laughs> in his hair, Jolie says. I think it was a lot of people from Miss Tysowski's class and some of my students from UCLA in various films. COVID, Elizabeth says. And I suddenly didn't feel as alone as I was. This debate, Hannah says when it's over, all this stuff, it's probably bringing a lot of people together. What do you mean, I say? More people are gonna vote than they did before. More people are getting political. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe Pana was right. But I sort of smiled to myself just then. There was thunder, not and right. Thinking about Miss T and Piggy's conch shell. We were scared. It wasn't what you said. Whenever you've got the shell, you can talk, Miss T told us. You're the only one who exists. You keep talking about all these things you're going to do and you're going to do this, but you were there just a short time ago. I thought I already was the only one who exists for you, Miss T. I joked to her. You always are, Pirus. Miss T went along. We've always constantly been moving the needle further and further to inclusion, not exclusion. This is the first president to come along and says, that's the end of that. I was now standing in front of the classroom with a shell in my hands. I really like this class, I said. Oh man, you crazy, someone in the back shouted out. I think Miss T's great, and I'm glad I chose this class. He's lost his mind. He's like Piggy now, Henry said. Shut up, Miss T said in an obvious joke. My dream boat's talking. I'm just glad I didn't go into AP English, I said. I'm glad I'm in this class. I handed the conch shell to someone else in class and sat down in my assigned seat. Miss T was listening to the next person talking. And I heard someone in the back of the class joking again. But it was like all the volume went down in the room. And it was just me and Miss T. She was still looking up at the student talking, but she had a Kleenex to her eye as she dabbed it. I thought she was just crazy at first. 
then a great joker. But it was then that I caught on to her other secret about how much she cared about us and made us want to be better people and be a good teacher. I guess saying what I did with the shell made her get overwhelmed. But at that moment, with the whole world turned down, I was just as bad as her. And I wiped my eyes and felt a bit shell-shocked. You crying? Someone in the class said to me. What's wrong with you? Another said. Leave my hunk alone, Miss T shouted. He's all mine and no one else can have him. Everyone started laughing. <laughs> Miss T had saved me from having to explain myself. She never said anything about that moment between us. We never even talked about it. It was just back to jokes upon jokes. But I never forgot that teachers have feelings too after that. دیگر تلخ است کامم شربت دیدار می باید ز جام عشق او مستم دیگر پندم مد ناسه نصیحت گوش کردن را دل هوشیار می باید خوشان روزی خوشان روزی